welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this super defined braid out. Very classic, but you guys have been complimenting me as of late. So I thought I'd show you the little tips and tricks and things that I do to get the definition and shape to my hair. I'm actually going to be using all Afrocentrics products in this tutorial. Afrocentrics have launched a crowdfunding campaign as of March 29th and I would love you guys to get involved any spare pennies, any spare pounds. It would help them launch some new products and just support the brand in general. And I really love their products so you're going to see how I've been getting this super defined braid out as of late. Hope you enjoy! Starting on super old hair, we are going to shampoo this mess. So I'm going to split it into four quarters, just using some hair clips to keep it out of the way. And starting with that first quarter, I'm just going to saturate my hair and rinse away any initial oils and dirt. Then I'm going in with the Swish Sulfate Free Shampoo, focusing on my scalp and roots. It lathers up super nicely and has a really nice fresh scent. So I'm just using the pads of my fingers to really massage at the roots and scalp of my hair, just to rid me of any buildup. I'm gonna do the same on each section of hair, shampooing and then rinsing, and then I'll follow up with a deep condition. And you guys know my deep conditioning routine. I will leave a little card for you to check that video out. Once I'm done to stretch my hair, I'll just put it into twists and I will use the Sheen Moisturizing Spray as my leave-in conditioner and the seal oil. But here's where the real juice happens. So I'm giving myself a middle parting, that's what I've been wearing recently, and I've split the front section off ear to ear. Now the back section, this does not have to be neat, it's never neat with me. I'm splitting into three sections to make three braids. So I'm taking the smooth moisturizing hair cream and I'm applying that to my first section of hair, which is my first braid or plait. Just working that through and then I'm going to use the Spring Hair Butter. It's their new product from Afrocentrics. It's beautiful. This stuff contains mango butter, avocado oil, which really helps to soften the hair and moisturize it. But what's great about this butter is it's the nice consistency that's going to lock in all of that moisture and provide the hold and definition for my hair. So I'm using about a fingertips worth, it melts beautifully into an oil and then smoothing that on top of the moisturizing cream. So I split that section into three and then I'm plaiting my hair. To plait your hair, it's really simple. You're basically splitting into three strands and doing right over middle, left over middle. When I get about a half to a quarter inch of the way down, I'm going to just smooth it together and I'm going to do a hanging bantu knot or a cocoon knot. So I'm just flipping it upside down and twisting those strands around itself. So I'm going to take this section at the very crown of my head to make a plait, which is just going to balance out the shape of my hair. This middle section here, I've split into four sections to make four braids. And again, I'm working in the smooth hair cream and sealing with the spring hair butter. I'm just here to tell my story. Before doing a really simple plait. What I love about the spring hair butter is it's 100% natural. All of the ingredients are really natural and that's probably why I really like the entire line. It's really naturally based. So again, in slow motion you can see I'm flipping it up and then I'm twirling those strands around my finger. I'm using my finger as a guide. I'm 
continuing this with all of the sections of my hair. The front sections I make about four braids. So create a U with your hair using your finger as a guide and then just twist the strands around itself. Same how you would do a regular bantu knot. And once I'm done, it's just time to go to bed. So you can see when I take down those little hanging bantu knots or cocoons, I've got really curly, coily ends. And that's what I really like. It adds to the shape and definition of my hair. And you can see as I've taken down that braid, how defined it is. The reason I don't use neat partings is because I no longer use a pick at my hair. I love the definition my natural braids give me, so I just work with that and let humidity do the rest. my current braid out routine and I wanted to show you actually considering I only have a sample of the spring hair butter can you see hardly any of that was used for my whole head which is amazing so that means a little bit goes a long way it's super long lasting smells fantastic and my hair has all of the definition but all of the movement you know none of that crunchiness it's just super soft moisturized and defined i'll be leaving a link to the crowdfunding campaign in my description box so please do check it out show your support you can order spring from there and check out more information about the campaign thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye